OK, so let's say we wanted to integrate 6x cubed plus 15x squared plus 50x plus 27 over x squared plus 9, x squared plus 3x plus 8. OK, so um, this one is certainly an extension problem, as you might guess by the title. Um, and the thing to notice about the two brackets in the denominator is that neither will factorise. Okay, this one certainly x squared plus nine is obvious. This won't factorise. This has no. Uh, if you're figuring out if does x squared plus nine equals zero have any real roots, it doesn't. Does x squared plus three x plus eight equals zero have any real roots either? Uh, that's not one. That's not so obvious. However, the discriminant b squared minus four ac is nine. So three squared minus 4 lots of 1 times 8. So 9 take away 4 lots of 8. So 9 take away 32. So yes, the discriminant will be negative. So this has no real roots either. So neither can be factorised. OK, so that means if I was just trying to write this as um, partial fractions, I can't just go in and have it as four brackets in the denominator. Okay, So what I need to do instead is to write this as ax plus b over x squared plus 9. You must always go to one, um, one x value less in power. Uh, in the denominator than it is in your numerator. So if you had a cubic in the denominator, then you would have to have ax squared plus bx plus c, okay, to count to try have a potential value for each of those coefficients. Plus cx plus d over x squared plus 3x plus 8. So this is the situation that we have. Our job is to find A, B, C, and D, so I can integrate this thing. So multiplying both sides by those brackets, we'll get 6x cubed plus 15x squared plus 50x plus 27 is equivalent to AX plus B times X squared plus 3X plus 8 plus CX plus D lots of uh, x squared plus 9. Okay, So from here, I'm going to use a method called comparing coefficients. And what I need to do is to multiply out these brackets. OK, so ooh, not four lines, just three. Right, so ax times those three terms. So we're going to have ax cubed plus 3ax squared plus 8ax. That's multiplying out the a's. Then we've got the b's. OK, so we've got plus bx squared plus 3bx plus 8b. OK, now multiplying out these. I'm going to have cx times x squared. So that's cx cubed. I'm going to get cx times 9. So 9cx. Um, multiplying up through the d, so dx squared. And I've got 9d. Now, what I've conveniently done here is split it up into columns. OK? So I can see precisely what I've got for x cubes, what for x squareds, x's, and constant terms. Now, what I do is I compare that with what I've got here. So I've got ax cubed plus cx cubed. So the a plus c has got to be the same as the 6. <clears throat> These would have to add up to 6x cubed. So I've got a plus c will have to be 6. OK, that's equation number 1. Now for the x squared, so I've got 3a plus b plus d. And that's got to be 15. So 3a plus b plus d has got to be 15. That's equation number 2. Now for the x's, I've got 8a plus 3b 
uh, plus 9c, and that's got to be 50. That's equation number 3. And then I've got 8b plus 9d, that's got to be 27. Okay, so that's equation number 4. Okay, right. So, if I get rid of that, I don't need any of that anymore. Okay, so I've got to solve these four equations. I've got four equations with four unknowns. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get it down to two equations with two unknowns, solve those so I can then substitute those values into the other equations to find the remaining two values. So, looking at this, um, if I rearranged number four and substitute into number two to get rid of the D, I can get an equation that just has A and B in it. I could also rearrange number 1 to put it into number 3 to get rid of the C, and I've got another equation with just A and B in it. So, I'll have two equations with two unknowns. So, I'm going to rearrange number 4. So, number 4 to get um, the D by itself. So, D would be 27 minus 8B over 8. Sorry, not 8, 9. OK, so that's the D. If I substitute that into number 2, OK, so then I've got 3A plus B plus 27 minus 8B over 9 is equal to 15. So I've now got an equation with just A's and B's in it. So if I multiply everything by 9, I'm going to get 27A plus 9B plus 27 minus 8B is equal to 9 lots of 15, which is 135. <clears throat> so I've got 27A. 9B take away 8B is just B. And then take 27 from both sides will leave me with 108. So here is uh, equation number 5, if you will, Okay, that I can now use. It just has A and B in it. So now I'm going to use equation number 1. Rearrange that one to get C equals, so C is 6 minus A, and I can substitute that into number 3. So number 3 is 8A plus 3B plus 9 lots of C is equal to 50. Right, multiply this out. 8A plus 3B plus 9 lots of 6, so 54, take away 9A is equal to 50. So I've got uh, minus A plus 3B, uh, take 54 from both sides, gets me minus 4. Okay, so this is equation number 6. So I'm now going to work with this one and this one to combine them. So if I multiply this one by 27, add them together, that'll be my route through. So multiply this one by 27. So we're going to get minus 27a. Uh, three lots of 27 is 81. So um, 81b. Uh, four lots of 27, however, uh, 5408. So minus 108. Right. OK, so if we add these two together now, OK, uh, the 27a and the minus 27a will get you 0. The b plus 81b will get you 82b. 108 plus minus 108 is 0. So that means that b is 0. Excellent. That's one of them done. So if b is 0, I can substitute that into either of those two. OK. So actually, it's easiest if I substitute into that one, isn't it? So minus a will have to be minus 4. So a would have to be 4. Right. So we've got two of them. Now, with that, if a is 4, c is 6 minus 4. So c is 2. And if I've got b is 0, then d is 27 over 9, so d is 3. So that has got me all 4. So what I can now do with this information is 
is those. Is now say that this is the same as the integral of ax plus b, so 4x plus 0, so 4x over x squared plus 9, plus cx plus d, so 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 3x plus 8. And so, integrating, x squared plus 9 differentiates to 4, uh, <laughs> differentiates to 2x, we've got 4x, so it's 2 lots of what I need. So that's 2 log x squared plus 9. The x squared plus 3x plus 8 differentiates to 2x plus 3, which is precisely what we've got. So that's log of x squared plus 3x plus 8 plus c. And that is the answer to the integral that I needed.